We are here at the Catalina entrance of the Charlemalou Gap Road Trail Road. So, there are millions and millions of good videos of you wheeling the Catalina side of the Gap. But what I'm doing, there is a turnoff I have never taken. And 20 years of wheeling this trail, um, there's this turnoff way up there before the sandstone starts. I always wanted to know where it goes. We're gonna try and take it today before I run out of gas. And let's check the rear main seal. So, you wanna see something nice? Here, look at this. So, as you can see, look at that. Ooh, that's lovely. We're just oil polishing the oil pan. So, I've had this Jeep for like a year and a half, and it's been an absolute blast on this thing. But I absolutely hate doing rear main seals, so I'm putting this off as long as I can, and I think this is the last run before we uh, change that, because that's getting got off of it. And if you look up there, all that oil on the clutch bracket, that's the valve, the valve covers. I've changed valve covers three times, and it still leaks like that. That's the charm of the AMC 360s. Any of y'all Wagoneer dudes that got 360s, how the heck do you keep your valve covers from barfing oil all over the place? Anyway, let's get on the trail. Enough of this nonsense. All right, 736. This is where it starts. And really, watch the Cholia. All right, this is a fun one. Four high. Yeah, get some. That was fun. Yeah, what a gorgeous day, man. Man, I can't believe how fantastically green it is right now. It's just amazing, man. Look how nice this is. Wow. Pretty awesome. Think we can climb this hill? Oh, we need first. This is too rugged. This was really rutted out. You had to use a lot of throttle. Now it's like all hard packed. What the heck? Now look at that scenery, man. Look how green that is. That is just awesome. Pretty cool.
We need, this is a job for low. Actual Gila monster. I haven't seen a Gila monster in at least 20 years. Get out of the road, bud. There you go. Keep going. There you go. Go to safety. Keep going, bud. Keep going. Okay, you're good. Chill out there, okay? There's turn off. Took long enough. There's turn off. I think this goes to Saddlebrook. I don't know. I've been wheeling this trail 20 years. I have no idea where this goes. This is what I've been looking for. Three quarters of a tank of my gas. Let's hit this and see where the heck it goes. Maybe we'll get some gnarly obstacles. I cannot read the mile marker. It's just so faded. That sign has been there so long. I have no idea what mile marker that is. But guys the biosphere is right there i am literally half a mile from the biosphere so the saddlebrook golf course is like right over here right over this little whatever you call this little flat pasture deal but i heard it got off of a clunky no guess what happened so, uh, we severed the front drive shaft, and I don't know, I think a piece of, I think the drive shaft came up and hit my Dana 300 and broke some stuff off. I'm replacing this Dana 300 anyway for another one. This is like the last run for this Jeep until we do major, major repairs. I was supposed to have already fixed all this. Anyway, I'm going to... 
pull this drive shaft out. I'm gonna pull this drive shaft out. And I don't even need it. I can get out here in two wheel drive, no problem. And try to get through Saddlebrook, get to the golf course and find a road. I'm not even gonna bother fixing this. I don't even need it. I can just get out here in two wheel drive. That'll save me some time. So let me get this turned out and we'll be out of here. All right. Um, we got a drive shaft in here. It's only about noon. I think I can get out of here in an hour. We are going to two wheel drive it out of here, put the hubs in neutral, eat the rest of our Subway sandwich, and blast out of here and pray we don't have to drive through the biosphere and get arrested. I'd rather just find a road that goes to Oracle. Um, so, yeah. I have no idea where this road goes, but we are really close to the Saddlebrook Golf Course. I'm hoping we can get there and get to a Saddlebrook Road. All right, report back soon. Okay, we're about an hour into this turnoff. We are dropping down to, and dropping down to this really neat little wash bed here. Um, we should be out of here soon. I got my broken U joint for company. And I'm hoping this goes right to Saddlebrook. Oh, I need to get on out of here. Because I still have to get home, play with goats, play guitar, play Diablo 3, hang out with the family, work out. I still have a full, day, uh, a full day's load ahead of me here. So let's see where this spits us out. Yeah. All right. Well, there's Saddlebrook. Here's paved road. We made it. This is an awesome shortcut. Yeah, I see the dirt road that goes right to that road right there. Wow, what an awesome, awesome shortcut. I'm gonna film this whole thing because I want to know how to do this again. If you take this shortcut through Saddlebrook, it takes you right to the bottom of the uh, where you go up the where you go up the gap crevice to the main cattle guard. So it basically takes you three hours up the trail in only an hour if you take this shortcut. You're right at the bottom of the huge steep descent to the mountain peak. All right, I got it. I need two amps, guys. Dude, this is exciting. This is exciting for me. This looks like Mars down here. There we go. Look at all these cool obstacles, man. I want to fix my U-joint. I'm like thrashing all these obstacles, but I feel like I'm gonna be really pressing my luck. But we're out of here. There's a sign down there. We'll go check out that sign, but this is like the last hill out of here and then we're on pavement. Okay. Well, I do believe this is the last cattle guard. Um, Boy, I got stuck for a minute. I got lost. Everything was blocked off. Looks like this road is the only road that has a gate that opens. So we came down over there. Um, so yeah, came up this nasty thing. I had to come up this in two wheel drive. That was not easy. I did not want to break my rear, my, uh, rear CV joint kind of trying to come up this. But Biosphere's over there and I guess we are out of here. Gotta find a road to that house that's being built, and that will get me on pavement. I think we made it. All right, so this is the actual spot that I came up out of the trail and into Saddlebrook Palisade Place and Overlook Drive. And you can literally see the biosphere behind it. If you look carefully here, in the left upper hand corner, you can literally see the trail I came off of and the Saddlebrook stop sign at Overlook Drive. So there's the trail back there that I came off of <laughs> that went right to Saddlebrook. I think that's pretty cool. Once you So once you come off the trail and you come on to Overlook Drive, turn right on Overlook Drive. And that takes you to this road, Catalina Drive or Catalina Place. I can't remember. 
You come to this stop sign, take a right. It takes you all the way to Oracle Road. Bam. Almost a one-shot deal. Well, we're, I guess we're out of here. This is like the main highway out of Saddlebrook. We're just cruising along here. See if this gets us out. All right. We're here at Half Dollar in general. And uh, as you can see, I'm celebrating. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, we made it home once again. After ditching this thing for three days on the Sutherland Trail, we have sort of redeemed ourselves. We made it out in two-wheel drive. But anyway, I'm going to make a map for you guys. How do you get to the gap from Saddlebrook, which takes you all the way to the bottom of the, uh, all the way to the bottom of the saddle. All right, guys, as promised, what you're going to do, you're going to head north on Oracle, head to Catalina, past Golden Ranch, past Rail X Ranch. Keep going north, 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 until you get to Saddlebrook Boulevard, turn right. If you're going north on Oracle. Coming from actual Oracle City, of course you'd be going left. Anyway. Go down Saddlebrook Boulevard. this intersection, Palisades and Overlook, and right there, you drive up onto, the, uh, right here there's an empty lot, and there's a gate right here. You open that gate, and right about here is another gate where that trailhead starts, and that goes right to the gap. It takes about an hour to get from here to the gap, from that trailhead. So yeah, um, we got to do the rear main seal on this thing, fix the U joint. I'm gonna replace the transfer case. I gotta reseal the intake and the valve covers. That's a good. Let's go pet some goats and jam out on guitar. And we'll see you then. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, so what do you do on your on your day off from teaching? You make a goat video. The most relaxing way to spend time. Right? We got goat number one. Hi, goat belly. We have goat number two. Goat number one is about to pass out. Goat number two is thinking about it. What do you think, princess? Hmm? Oh, yep. Goat time has officially begun. <laughs> 